Well, good morning, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. As you can see, we're inside Lady Brain. And that's because we're having a busy day. Um, we're making some more stock, uh, making some orders up. Um, because we need to, basically. <laughs> Long and short of it, we need to. We need some more stock. We're hoping to uh, do some trading at weekend. Um, weather permitting, because the weather's looking a bit dodgy at the moment. And we've got some orders we need to make. So that's what we're up to at the moment. I'm just getting our uh, laser engraver ready because we're going to start burning some of our wooden plaques. And Lou is over there somewhere. And um, <laughs> do her. Sat, <laughs> Sat doing nothing. Um, but she's helping, and we're going to get some cushions made um, that we've got on order. So uh, yeah, right. Time to crack on. Right, so the plaques are burning. That'll take about an hour, two hours to burn that one. Because um, that's how long it takes to, to make one of those plaques. Uh, so, uh, lose on camera. Well, you can't be on camera forever because you're going to have to give me a lift with these and we'll rattle these out. We're going to get some cushions made. And we're just conscious that um, we haven't shown you us making anything for a while. So um, we figured while we're making stuff today, we'll show you what we're doing. I mean, they're only cushions that we're making today. Um, I might end up doing a bit of leather work at some point, so I'll probably film that, whether that's in this vlog or another vlog, I don't know. But uh, we've got some uh, cushions to make. So we're making, uh, what have we got? We've got Robins. Uh, I've got a Springer Spaniel. I've got a couple of Gonks. And, oh, a German Shepherd one. And a pup with a German Shepherd puppy. Oh. Um, so these are all either just replacing stock or they've been ordered. So remember, guys, check us out at www.cruisingcraft.co.uk and always have a look in the description box because you never know what's down there. Just have a look. Right, let's crack on with these. Robin. There we go. All done. Right. Next one. Well, good morning. It's uh, moving day. It's time to finally leave this fantastic spot that we found. Um, unfortunately, the weather isn't fantastic today, hence we've got the wet weather gear on. Um, it is supposed to brighten up later on today, um, but we need to move. 
Um, as much as I want to be a fur weather cruiser, we are now desperate for water. We need to get rid of rubbish. Um, so we have to move whether we like it or not today, unfortunately. So uh, the water point's only about 10 minutes away. Hopefully by the time we've uh, got to the water point and filled up with water, the rain will have stopped. So uh, yeah, not gonna film much now because these cameras don't like the rain. So uh, hopefully we'll see you a little bit later on when it's a little more nicer. Right, so we're at the water point. We've just finished filling with water. There's a higher boat in front of us. They're jumping on the water point, so we've got to get off it. Um, but look at this. <laughs> blue sky sunshine the weather forecast for once was right so uh, we've got to head up to Lapworth Junction we're going up there we need to stop there because we need to get rid of our rubbish and that's where the rubbish point is um, and then uh, yeah Lapworth flight So uh, just down there in front of us is um, the junction, we're on Kingswood Junction now uh, and we're just heading up to the Stratford Canal. Um, now when we get here we swing a right and that gets us onto Lapworth Flight. But us being us, we're having a change. It's quite nice and uh, we're not rushing around to get to markets and every time we come this way we always swing a right and go up Lapworth Flight but we really don't need to so we've decided we're going to swing a left or more importantly we're going to go straight on and then swing a left we'll still be on the Stratford Canal but we're going to head south and we're going to go to Stratford upon Avon now if the weather's like this at weekend and we can get a decent mooring we may even trade depends how busy it is we may do we may not we don't have to um but well i say we don't have to if we trade we make money don't we so um but we was thinking we'd just go in for a two-day visit to stratford on avon while we can because we're not going to get to do this again um, until probably this time next year um, so makes sense to do it now it's all new waters we've never been this way before uh, Louise has never even been to Stratford-upon-Avon so uh, it should be a nice little visit a little technical problem the gate won't open properly so I can't actually get out the lock um, we're going to give this another whirl Let's see if this works fingers crossed well we seem to be getting there so happy days we can carry on with our journey It looks like the sheep have escaped from the field. <laughs> the farmers just come running down the field trying to get them all back. And they look like they're doing as they're told. Not like my dogs would. Oh 
all the culprits. Well, we're being a bit naughty today. Um, well, we said we've been naughty. We could look at it with that we're having a, a belated treat for our anniversary, I suppose. But um, we've heard a lot of good things about a pub called the Fleur de Lis. And anybody that's been down here or watched other vlogs will know that a lot of people talk about the Fleur de Lis and how good the food is. So uh, it's just gone lunch time and uh, Lou's twisted my arm. So we're going to the pub for a bit of lunch, which we don't normally do. Um, it's nice to keep the money in the bank to pay the bills, but it is, uh, a belated anniversary gift. So we had our liver and onions and a trifle and now we're treating ourselves to a bit of a pub lunch. So hell. Tucking into pie. Too hot. So, babe. Yes. What do you think of a fleur de lis pie then? Yeah. Is it, it all it's cracked up it to be? It was lovely. My only downside is there wasn't enough kidney in it. Oh, you had steak and kidney, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. But I like lots of kidney, and there was only two little pieces of kidney in it. Okay. But that's the same with wherever I get a pie from. Yeah, you, you just want a kidney and stay yeah, pie. I need more kidney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had the uh, steak and still. What was your um, like? Yeah, well, mine was nice. Nice and tasty. A bit too hot, burnt my tongue. Yeah, it, it was definitely hot. <laughs> but it's better than it being cold. I didn't think you got a lot on your plate, but I am quite pleasantly filled from that. I said that to you, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, that, that very filling. Well worth the money. And, uh, it's getting warm. I'm glad we did sit there next to fire. Yeah, so there's a, um, I'll see if I can get it. Just over here we've got a, uh, a proper real fire on the go. Which is keeping us all nice and toasty and warm. The only downside though is that where we were intending on going, we've got another nine locks to do yet. You have, I've not. I've just got to stand up back up though. And make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how we're going to go and do another nine locks. And to be fair, um, we've probably. Yeah, about that one. Read that sign though. Stop squealing about it. Trot off and get naked at the bar now. Okay. That's what it says. Show them the sign so they don't think I'm lying. Okay, let's find the sign. Hang on. <laughs> yep. 
so it does tell you to trot off and get naked at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. So he wasn't lying. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I don't think we're going to get another nine locks done. Um, we've been a bit longer than we should have been in there. Um, it's just one of those. The fire's on, it's warm. I mean, it's not cold outside. We're still in T-shirts and it's lovely and warm. Uh, it was very warm in there. We've had something to eat. We even had chocolate brownies and ice cream for Double, dessert. Uh, get it right. Double, Double chocolate, chocolate brownie. brownies and vanilla ice cream. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how we're going to do more locks, but we've got to move on because we want to be in Stratford upon Avon tomorrow and uh, we're just a bit too far away to achieve it in one day. But why is there apples? Oh, wow. Yeah. We've had a major bumper crop of apples. We should uh, we should go and do a bit of scrumping or something, shouldn't we? What eat? Bit of bit of scrumping. Never mind skyder. Well, another lock and another lock gate not opening properly. So Gareth's having to try to fish out what it is and open it and shut it because I cannot get out of this lock. But the lovely couple you can see there out of this lock cottage have just been over and asked me that I want some apples off their apple tree out of the garden. And oh my God, are they delicious. Oh, I'm getting the thumbs up so I can go. You've been a good girl. Sit. River, sit. No, okay. Uh, you've not got treats. No, Dad's got the treats. Come on now. Well, good morning. I wish I could tell you where I was, but to be honest, I haven't got a clue. Um, we are in between Bridge 49 and Bridge 50. Um, and to be honest, this was the first place we we came through after the last lock that we uh, that we had ha uh, arm core that we could moor up on. So um, the, the light went very fast. Um, well, that's the kettle boiling. Uh, yeah, so the light went really fast yesterday. Um, so we ended up getting here just as it was dark. So it was the first place that we got, but what a beautiful mooring spot. It was lovely and quiet last night. Absolutely fantastic. The weather today is looking a little bit dodgy. Um, it's put some rain down this morning. The wind has definitely picked up. Um, and the weather forecast is gusty in about 34 miles an hour so that's going to make things a little bit fruity today uh, we should get to Stratford upon Avon all being well fingers crossed today and uh, I'm hoping the winds drop because we've got to try and get possibly onto a pontoon um, which in this wind <laughs> I think we'll let Lou do it
it's uh, it's turned out quite nice considering um, the start we had to the day again and uh, it's still t-shirt weather which is fantastic uh, and certainly okay for the end of October but we've had a good uh, couple of hours cruise now we've uh, come through Wilmcourt locks uh, we had lock keepers on that so we we managed to race through that so we have one hour 15 minutes one hour and 15 minutes to do about 11 locks which is not bad going apparently so uh we did that we uh took care of a bit of business we needed to make a video call at the bottom of the lock so we've done that uh and now we're back to filming uh, as we go in we've got about four locks left to do as we lock down into stratford upon avon and uh, as long as this wind stays like this, we'll be fine getting on a pontoon. And we won't have to make Louise do it. I'm not doing it. Uh, this is different for a lock gate. I've never seen a, a balance beam like that before. So uh, this is going to be interesting opening and shutting this one, I think. Here we are guys, just a quick pan, we're in Bancroft Basin, we made it into Stratford-on-Avon, um, we've managed to get a mooring, there's quite a few moorings actually, um, there's only one real mooring that you can trade on and yeah the boat that came in just before us I think just managed to get on that one, it didn't go on any of the pontoons, it went on the linear, you couldn't write it could you? But, uh, yeah, sod's live. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to us. So um, yeah, unless the boat moves, we definitely won't be trading. Um, we haven't decided whether we're going to trade or not. But do you know what? There's a lot of people about. If we get an opportunity to trade, I think uh, I think we'd be silly not to. But that is all for another day. We are absolutely starving because we haven't had anything to eat yet today and um, we've cruised past all sorts of eateries and smelt all sorts of lovely food so um, I think a McDonald's something nice and unhealthy like a McDonald's because I am starving is in hand so uh, yeah do that quick walk round and then we'll explore what happens tomorrow so uh, yeah we'll see you guys in the morning